People of YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron, a software startup CEO who's on to something. Before I get started updating you on the status of the span panel repair, I have a pretty exciting announcement. I will be having Chad Conway, a product engineer at Span, doing an interview on this channel. So if you have any specific questions that you would like asked, please leave those questions in the comments section and I'll make sure to ask them to Chad. I know I personally have a ton of questions for Chad, but I'm really curious to see what yours are. So please, once again, put your questions in the comments of this video. Also, I'm not paid by Span. I'm also not paid by YouTube, and I also don't own a solar company. So really, the only joy I get is to see the likes go up and the subscriber count go up. So if you want to bring a little joy to my life, please subscribe to my channel. On my last span panel update, which is linked in my description, um, I talked about how one of the span panels was dead on arrival. The panel works as a dumb panel, so it is installed. The application part of it is not connecting. Span overnighted to me replacement guts for my panel. I assume it's got its equivalent of the motherboard um, that's being replaced. Today, Key West Lighting came to install that new component. And here's what it looks like in the box. However, before we removed the internals from the old panel, we, we noticed an issue with the replacement part that was sent to us. Apparently, the box was jostled so much that the fans fell off the motor mounts. You could actually hear them rattling around. Let's see if I have a good enough photo to show you what that looks like. Here's one of the good fans. Notice you can see fins. And here's one of the busted fans. Notice that you can't see any fins. That's because the fins are actually laying uh, somewhere deep inside of the unit. This got us thinking, maybe both the problems, the original span unit that's not working, plus the replacement span unit that's not working, maybe this problem has been a shipping problem all along. There is no foam or other cushiony material inside of this box. The packing material that the unit sits in is extremely rigid and hard. It would not cushion the unit at all. So maybe we're simply suffering from packaging problems and not hardware or software problems. Because when I look at the hardware that this span unit is built with, it is extremely high quality. So my advice to span is, let's figure out these packing and shipping issues. And a packing issue is 100% something that you would run into as a startup. And I'm happy that I'm the one that hit it and hopefully we can work with them to get the packing issue straightened out so that you don't have to have the same problems as me. We were able to get a SPAN project engineer on the phone today, a Saturday, to discuss the issue. He's having a new unit shipped out to us again, hopefully packed differently, that we'll receive next week, and we're gonna to try to reinstall once again next Saturday, and I'll keep you folks updated. It's always a breath of fresh air when you can get such good support after hours on the weekends. It almost makes me wanna start an online petition to make sure that SPAN is never acquired by Tesla or private equity. One last thing, I was pretty shocked by this. When we opened the packaging for the replacement unit, way, way back in the corner, I saw a toodles 